Hello, my name is Jim. Welcome to my booktube channel about books and reading and stuff. In this video I want to look at the book The Pear Field by Nana Ektimi Shvili. The Georgian title Mesklebis Mindori. Nana Ektimi Shvili is a Georgian author and film director. This book was on the long list for the International Booker this year, 2021. It's grim, dark reality. It's set in the world of Tbilisi in the 1990s, a very dark, bleak world after the Soviet Union collapsed. When the Soviet Union fell, their lives were blown apart. This is a book Steve Donoghue hasn't read. I will link to my video about has Steve read it here. I'll also link a playlist in the show notes below for season two of Has Steve Read It? But Steve, if you're watching this, I wouldn't recommend it because two dogs are needlessly killed in the story. It's a very sad story. As well as the dogs being needlessly killed, this book should come with trigger warnings of child abuse, sexual abuse, violence against women and abandonment. The action, or more often inaction, takes place in a residential school for the intellectually disabled in Kirch Street. This is in Goldani, in the northern suburbs of Tbilisi. It's a fictitious setting, but the author is familiar with a similar school, having been a neighbour to a similar school in her childhood. The focus of this story is on Layla, an 18-year-old girl who could leave but she has nowhere else to go so she stays as a sort of mother hen between the younger children and the teacher. She's sort of an in-between character and we see, at the beginning we see her thoughts, I will kill Vano. Vano is the history teacher and the deputy head. He tells the students of the history of George's heroes of the past their favourite is Tsotne, Tsotne Dadiani, bound at the feet of his Mongol or overlords naked under the scorching sun, smeared in honey, demanding to be put to death. That was Tsotne, which seems rather symbolic for some of the children in this school. The children at the residential school are abused physically, they're defiled, they're neglected, they're abandoned, they have scant food and scant clothes. Provisions aimed at the institution are often siphoned off by the director. Tiniko's office is very plush in contrast to the dilapidated dorms where the Soviet style spring mattresses are used like trampolines by the children. It's a very bleak setting. The pear field of the title is a waterlogged field where the misshapen pear trees grow and produce inedible fruit, which is very symbolic of the institution as a whole. Pear field is also the scene of uh, abusive hazing ritual for teenage girls at the institution. There's a lot of sexual violence here. There's Pears are symbolic in art for the feminine form, they're symbolic of sexuality, they're also symbolic of health, but the pairs here are toxic and inedible. In the school, Layla takes nine-year-old Irakli under her wing to protect him. Uh, he's been abandoned by his mother. Every week he tries to phone his mother. His mother gives him excuses as why uh, that she's going to visit him but she never comes. Layla is aware that Heracli's been abandoned but Heracli continues to have this hope. Then there's a new hope for Heracli that an American couple will adopt him. This looks at international adoption, the problems of international adoption. If you think this is the book with a kind of corny fairy tale ending then think again. It's a brave novel, it's sad, it's heart-wrenching, it's written in the present simple. This is the tense we use for everyday repeated actions, 
the repeated lives of the kids is very bleak. There's not a lot of flowery language here. It's very matter of fact. It's very stark. Uh, at the beginning, a boy is killed by a car and it's like it's no big deal. The writer, as I said, is a film director and some of the scenes have cinematic possibilities. There's a scene where the kids led by Layla are raiding a cherry tree. There's the kids trampolining in the dormitory on the spring mattresses. There's a scene at the airport with Irakli. There's a lot that has cinematic potential here. It's a short book. It's under 200 pages long. It's intended to be read in one sitting, like you'd see a movie in one sitting. There are some heartwarming moments. The children make sacrifices for each other, especially Layla, the way she gets the money for Heracles' English lessons is a great sacrifice. I'll give this book three stars. It's very haunting. I thought the characters could have been developed more, but then it is a very short novella. It's a very brave novella, but I didn't really enjoy it. I made one video about Georgian literature and English translation. I didn't include this novella in that because I wasn't even aware of it at the time. I need to update that video. If you want to see that video, here's the link. If you like this video, you can like and subscribe below and I will see you on the next video. Bye.